So let's find the work done by the force field. X squared Y, negative XY, along RT equals T cubed, T to the fourth, and T is between 0 and 1. So if we look at the R of T, that is the position vector, um, we can actually use the T cubed as our X parameterization and the Y is our Y parameterization. So I will let X equal to T cubed and Y equals T to the fourth. So if you recall, if this is X and this is Y and we're trying to look along some contour, the position vector R of T would trace all along this contour C, if you will. So let's find the work done by this force going along that contour. So let's write our work equation. Work is the contour integral of the force dotted into dr. Now we're given r, but we don't know uh, dr. But I can do a dr dt, and I'll get that dr dt is going to be 3t squared comma 4t cubed. And so dr ought to be this vector dt. Okay, so dr dt is this vector, and I just multiply both sides by dt. So I can change this contour integral as the integral from 0 to 1. And my force, again, I have x squared y, since I'm using t cubed is x, I get t cubed squared. When I raise the power to a power, I multiply the exponents. So I'll get t to the sixth times y, which is t to the fourth, comma. And then the y component on my force is just negative xy. So I get a minus t cubed times t to the fourth. And I want to dot that into my dr, which is 3t squared, 4t cubed, dt. So let's see. Let's do a little bit of algebra first before we actually perform the dot product and then the integral. So t to the 6 times t to the 4th is going to give me t to the 10th. And this becomes a negative t to the 7th dotted into 3t squared 4t cubed and dt. So let's take the dot product and my i components, uh, i dot i remembers 1, and um, any cross uh, i dot j gives me 0, j dot i gives me 0. So 10, t to the 10th times 3t squared, I get 3, and t to the 10th and t to the 2nd, when I multiply like bases, I add the exponents, and this, I'm going to add to the product of a minus t to the 7th, 4t, Cubed, so I'm going to get a minus 4t to the 7 plus 3 t to the 10th dt. Okay, so if we perform this integration, we get 3t to the 13th over 13 minus 4t to the 11th over 11. We want to evaluate that from 0 to 1. Uh, from here, I'll get at the upper limit 3 thirteenths minus 4 elevenths, and everything vanishes at 0, of course, which gives me 33 minus 52 all over 143. Um, so I just multiply by 11 um, out of 13, and then now 13 goes into 143, 11 times, of course. 11 times 3 is 33. 11 goes into 143, 13 times 4 gives me a minus 52. That gives me a work of a minus 19 over 143. So in this case, um, we have the work done as a negative value. So if I were performing work on something, I mean, really, it's like the work is actually being performed on me, if you will.